Welcome to the East End Culture Club here at Tenet Shop, 95 Main Street in Southampton. This is our inaugural exhibition, Materials and Geometries, featuring work from nine artists from the East End, New York City, and around the world. Each artist uses different materials in their practice, and they look quite good together. So this is Maureen Hoon. She is from Singapore. This is acrylic paint on canvas with sewn-in elements that kind of create this vibrant texture. Over here is Mark Humphrey. Um, he's been practicing in New York City in the Hamptons as an artist for over 40 years. He's very well established out here, but also in the city, and he's in over 600 collections in this area and worldwide. Uh, he's known for his geometry and for his use of materials and just for the beautiful surfaces that he creates. Over here you have Matt Moser-Clark. He's from London, United Kingdom. In this instance, he put lead on paper and surrounded it with an artist-made frame. Um, his, the way he highlights texture and form and the shadows and the interplay of the materials is just very interesting. Over here you have Ricardo Arango. He's from Colombia. Um, he's welding these forms where you have the triangular base and then he's put some colors on top, but it's just this very meticulous process of building up the surface through time with his welding, with his welding abilities. Over here uh, we have a work by Saren Mori. Uh, she uses ultralight dispersions to make these beautifully textured surfaces and also these very f almost like flower-like uh, arrangements. And this, this particular one has a snake around it. And you can just see like the depth of this canvas. It's almost as if the welded piece or with mats, it just has this very deep feel to it. Um, over here is Lionel Cruet. Um, he's a pioneer in installation, video art, and sound art. This particular one is used via photo transfer process, so he just transfers the photos over and over and over again, layering them to get this final result in the image diptych. Um, here is Saren Mori again. Uh, it's as if we have something growing downstairs on our wall, and you can see the roots here and the flower arrangement, and then there's this kind of uh, deep center that draws you into it. This is uh, Matt Moser-Clark as well again, and this is a little different than the other one. That's a more bunched up form. This is a more straightforward, wavy form. It creates a very different effect, and yet it's the same exact idea of the lead on paper in the artist-made frame. Uh, over here is another piece by Ricardo. He's referencing geometry again. Uh, now it's a square, not a triangle, and it also has an oval inside, but he's using that red color again. So it also maintains the texture of his other welded works. Um, here's another beautiful little Saren Mori, uh, no less interesting than her larger work, but very intimate. When you get up close to it, you just see all the elements, and, and it really feels like you're staring into someone's magical garden, or garden from outer space, if you will. Um, over here is another work of Maureen Hoon's. Uh, this is a different color palette than the other one, but the same exact execution and process. So you can just see how she's taking these vibrant colors from her background in Singapore, and then using them in her practice in New York. Um, over here, this is a New York-based artist, Lorraine Wilson, he's from New York, and this is beeswax that utilizes natural pigment uh, in terms of the color that you see. Having gone to his studio, he's like a mad scientist where he sits there working, building up these surfaces, integrating the pigment, and just making sure that everything sits just the right way. And they're quite deep as well. Um, this artist here, uh, she went to RISD, her name is Chellis Baird. She's been practicing in New York for quite some time now as well. And this particular one, it's woven uh, paper and plastic on a canvas, you know, where it creates this beautiful strip line in the middle, uh, surrounded by these vibrant colors and textures. Um, this is another piece by Mark Humphrey. This is pastel on vellum. Uh, it's another type of his work, so he does the circles, but he also does some very beautiful angular geometries uh, that you see, and it becomes a lot about the negative space and the color. Um, this is another one of Chalice's pieces, just woven together. It just has some beautiful detail work in there where you kind of see one line weaving throughout, and then it's intersections and overlapping and color plays. Another beautiful piece in the show is by um, East End artist Darlene Charneko. This has uh, resin as well as nails on wood, and it's just beautifully textured and just so meticulously completed. Uh, you can imagine her hammering each one of these nails into this board and then pouring the resin and getting the colors right, and then each nail actually has resin on top. So it's just quite an involved process. And this last piece is by Lionel Coret as well. It's actually a piece together collage on canvas using different photo elements, and it's an earlier work, it's from a few years ago, and he's essentially doing something very similar to his other process where he's photographing it and piecing it together through the photo transfers, but now he's physically doing it in a collage, and this predates the other work. Thank you for coming, and we hope you enjoy the show.